Shalom everyone, it's called Torah, and today we will discuss Parashat Kitavo. In this parasha we have many different subject matters, and one of them is this very interesting covenant that the Jewish people went through, where Moshe described to the Jewish people that when they enter the land of Israel, they will stand on Har Eval and Har Grizim, two different mountains, and some of the tribes will stand on this mountain and the other tribes will stand on the other mountain and the Levim, the Levites, will be in between. And they will repeat or recite some kind of commitments that the Jewish people will need to commit and recommit themselves. And in a way, it's the language that is being used is Arur. Cursed is the one who will not do A and cursed is the one who will not do B and C and D. And the last one, the last commitment that the Jewish people need to take upon themselves is the following. A curse is the one who will not uphold the words of, his, of this Torah to perform them. Arur asher lo yakim et divrei Torah azot la'asot otam. Now, the English translation says that will not uphold the words of the Torah, of this Torah. But the word yakim, lehakim, is, has different connotations in Hebrew. And today I would like to try to focus on a very interesting interpretation by Nachmanides, by the Ramban. Nachmanides brings different opinions to this verse and he says that in his opinion it refers to something that at first glance seems to be a little strange. As we all know, before the Torah is being read, according to some customs, and according to the Ashkenazi custom, we do it after the reading of the Torah. We lift up the Torah and we show it to everyone. The Ramban says that this verse refers to exactly to that person, the Magbiha, the guy who uplifts the Torah, that holds the Torah up and shows it to all of, all of the people in the shul. It says if he does not show it to everyone, he is included in this verse that criticizes him harshly. And why is that? Says the Ramban, when you lift it up, you need to establish the Torah in front of everyone's eyes, men, women, children, elderly people, young people, and they all need to bow down a little bit, to prostrate themselves a little bit, and to show with their finger that this is the Torah that Moshe received from God. Now let's think about it. It seems to be a little strange. So if someone lift up the Torah and didn't show it to everyone, that's why he would be considered as someone that did not hekim edivrei Torah, that he did not establish the words of Torah. I would like to suggest the following idea. There is a huge difference between lehakim, to le establish or to erect, and le'amid, to make something stand. We find it in the ethics of the fathers, by the way. We all know the very famous Mishnah that says there are three pillars for the world. There are three pillars for the world. Torah, Avoda, and Gmilut Hasadim, Torah, service, and acts of good deeds. But at the end of this chapter, the first chapter, there is another Mishnah that says, Ad shlosha dvarim haolam kayam. There are three things that the word kayam, exactly like here, lehakim, din, emet, and shalom, justice, truth, and peace. What's the difference? The difference is the following. Le'a'amid, it's to establish, first time. First time the Torah was established based on Moshe received the Torah from God and Moshe gives it to Yehoshua, to Joshua, and Joshua to the elders and so forth. But in order to be able le'hakim et divrei Torah, you really need to maintain the tradition. And how do you maintain tradition? How do you make sure the tradi tradition will be transformed to the next generation? It's only when you show it to everyone. 
men, women, elderly people, young people. Everyone needs to be part of it. It's like a startup and an older company. In order to start something, you don't need everyone. Even an elite group, a small group of people can do it, can start something that will be great. But you don't need everyone. Maybe sometimes it's not good to have everyone participating because sometimes nothing will be accomplished. So you need a dedicated group to do something. But after it's there, you need to show it to everyone. You need to get everyone's participation. Says the Ramban, the person who lifts up the, the Torah, he make, it to st he make it stand up. Now it's already up. In order to maintain it and to make sure it's there forever, he needs to show it to everyone. Everyone needs to feel part of it. And if not, he is really part of this very harsh criticism that the Torah gives for someone who does not maintain and make sure that the Torah is kayemet, exists forever. What's the message for us? The message for us is very simple, yet challenging. The Torah was given to us, oral Torah we have, and we need to make sure that from now on it's not just a startup of just few people dealing with Torah, learning Torah. We need to open it up for everyone, we need to show it to everyone, we need to encourage everyone to take part and to be engaged with Torah learning, with Torah observance, to reach out to people and to show the beauty and the sweetness of Torah to everyone. Thank you.